Greetings folks, this is a quick little demonstration of how the Vifly Short Saver or Smart Smoke Stopper works. Here's the unit here, you would plug it into whatever you're concerned about, say this flight control board that I spent hours soldering up and I don't want to fry everything in there, so connect up the smoke stopper, plug the battery in and if we get a green light, all is good. So that tells me that there is no overcurrent, there's no short circuit, so hopefully my soldering is correct on the flight control board. Now, let's see what happens when you deliberately provide a short. So here's a very si silly situation. I have a switch here and I have stupidly shorted out the other end there. Plug the short stopper in. Don't try this at home, this is just for demonstration purposes to show you what happens if you do have a short. Green light, now if I, if I flick this switch, straight away it goes red and stops the current. So, even though my battery is He's effectively shorted out the uh, electronic fuse, the smoke stopper, stops the current flowing. So now unplug it, plug it back in again, there's no short this time. All good, we've got a green light. Sweet and simple. You can, with this little switch here, you can change between 1 amp and 2 amp overcurrent. And the S and N pads on the back. By default the detection setting is 3 milliseconds for short circuit and 10 milliseconds for overcurrent. Do a solder bridge on the little S pads there, it is 5 milliseconds short circuit and 15 milliseconds overcurrent. If you do a solder short on the N pads, it's 7 milliseconds short circuit and 20 milliseconds overcurrent. Uh, but uh, I'm going to leave them as they are and I'm going to leave it on 1 amp overcurrent by having the switch up there. And you can see uh, this LED down here, no LED is 1 amp current threshold and a blue LED is 2 amp current, current threshold. Nice little piece of electronics that could well save you quite a few dollars.